Hi, my name is Durbin Justin. I am the product manager for NI Testan as well as Requirements Gateway and the HTML Toolkit. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about our demo over here. It's the NI Testan Mobile Devices Parallel Test Demo. Uh, it's got two parts to it. One is to show up our hardware and the other is to show up our software. I'm going to start with the hardware side. Basically what we're going to show over here is how our, our instruments can be used to test multiple devices in parallel. We have four different Android mobile phones here that we're going to test with our PXI instruments. And we're doing four different tests on it. Of course, we can do a lot more, but for the sake of time, uh, what we're doing is we're testing the GPS on the phone by generating a GPS signal, uh, simulating a GPS satellite with our RF instruments. Uh, we're testing the audio quality on the phone with our audio master software and hardware, and we're testing the video quality with our video master hardware and software. Uh, at the same time, we're also using one of our newer PXI instruments, the uh, uh, PXI battery simulator, uh, that that basically does a power consumption test on the phone to make sure that uh, when the phone's pulling battery from over USB to charge that it's uh, not taking too little or too less uh, uh, power to do so. One of the benefits of using National Instruments hardware and software is the ability for us to use one set of PXI instruments to test multiple phones simultaneously. So what we can do with our software is automatically switch between what instrument is connected to which of the Android phones at, at, at any given time which allows us to use just one set of instruments rather, rather than having four sets of instruments to test phone four, four phones in parallel. Uh, what we're doing in the software right now is what we're doing a parallel test of all four phones. What you can see, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it from uh, that distance, is we're actually pipelining the tests, which means that uh, as test one is running on the first phone, the other phones are waiting, and then when that's done, uh, we actually can run test two on, te on phone one and test uh, number one on test on phone two and so on. So it's pipelining the different tests, which gives us some parallelism, but we're still wasting time at the beginning of that execution uh, because it, the test and sequence that we used for that particular instance wasn't smart enough to know that another instrument wasn't being used, so let's go ahead and use that. Testing actually has the built-in logic to do that. We call that auto-scheduling, where Testin will automatically figure out that, all right, when one particular instrument is being used, the other phone is smart, uh, can automatically decide, well, I don't have to wait for that particular test. I can do my GPS test or my audio test or my video test in, at that time and make maximum usage of our hardware. And you can kind of see that in this graph over here. Uh, with the auto scheduling turned on, we're seeing that all phones are starting tests at the same time and they're just picking and choosing which test that they can run at any given time based on what instrument is free at that time. Uh, what you'll see in just a minute, as all these tests are executing, if we were to test sequentially, uh, testing four phones would have taken us 134 seconds. Testing in parallel with that pipelining took us about 54 seconds, and testing with that auto-scheduling took us only about 35 seconds, or 31 seconds. So it saves, it saves us a lot of time and allows us to maximize our throughput uh, while testing multiple devices in parallel without adding the cost of additional hardware.